Liverpool are back in action once again this week against West Ham United as the Reds look to get back to winning ways and book a place in the League Cup semi-final. In today's video though, we'll discuss all the latest Liverpool news from the last 24 hours. That of course includes why the club have been handed a giant £50 million blow. There is so much to cover in today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you're all well before we do get into today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Virgil van Dijk has dismissed Roy Keane's acquisitions of arrogance as he called for Liverpool to learn from a frustrating goalless draw with Manchester United. Speaking to Sky Sports in the immediate aftermath of the game, the Dutchman shared his view that there was only one team trying to win. That opened him up to criticism from former United captain Keane who said we heard Van Dijk speaking there, a lot of arrogance coming out of them, dissing United like that. But when asked about those comments, Van Dijk doubled down on his view that the visitors set out simply to avoid another 7-0 drubbing at Anfield. He said I like Roy Keane, if he said that then that's fine. He is Man United throughout and I understand he could react like that, but I felt what I said and there is absolutely no arrogance in that. Everyone who watched the game probably felt the same. We move on, we had the opportunity and we couldn't score and that's the frustrating part. Obviously they're not in the best situation and if you come here after you have lost last here with a big number, you are going to be more than happy with the point. Everyone can see that. You could see what their game plan was and what we tried to do and I felt what I said was right and we move on. Liverpool did fail to find an opening goal on Sunday despite taking 34 shots from over two thirds of the possession across the 90 minutes. And Van Dijk wants his teammates to show more patience in the future as they attempt to unlock a low block defence. He continued, if we learn from it, I'd be fine with it. We've had many games already this season where we have already played against low blocks and done well, so we have to learn from it and keep going. I think we did everything to try and win the game, maybe trying to force it a little bit at times, and we could make a better decision, but it's hard to break the low block down. Unfortunately, we didn't win. You push, you push, you push, and try to do everything in your power, but today was one of those days where we couldn't find the right decision to score a goal. We move on and have to learn from a lot of moments and we'll focus and focus on Wednesday. The Reds can't afford to dwell too long on their weekend disappointment with a Carabao Cup quarter-final against West Ham coming up on Wednesday. And the captain hopes the extra 7,000 fans that have been added to Anfield's attendance this week get Jurgen Klopp's side over the line. Just a quick one guys, we have released our brand new Liverpool Christmas merch drop. We have got the You'll Never Walk Alone, Your Filthy Animal Tees, along with the You'll Never Walk Alone Christmas Tree Tee. Do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description, or going to copyclothing.com. Anyway, let's get into today's video. Liverpool will not take part in the newly expanded Club World Cup in 2025, meaning their next chance to feature in the tournament would not be until 2029. Plenty will take that quite happily, but it's a £50 million blow. Despite the obvious calls for greater player welfare, FIFA continues to add games to the calendar, and the latest brainchild involves a 32-team club World Cup tournament starting from 2025. But Liverpool will take no part in the first edition of the, of the new controversial tournament after FIFA confirmed the criteria for qualification, which allows two clubs per country to take part. Manchester City and Chelsea are already guaranteed their spots, having won the Champions League in the predetermined four-year cycle, and only Arsenal could join them if they win Old Big Ears this season. If you're thinking that Liverpool have more coefficient points than Chelsea, you would be right, as per the Telegraph, FIFA have decided winning the Champions League supersedes those points. The Club World Cup will take place every four years from 2025, and it will take place during the summer months, and you sense Liverpool will feel somewhat relieved that they won't be taking part. Obviously, the club would be missing out on the financial windfall, but there is a huge concern over fixture congestion and the demands placed on players. It is growing out of control and the breaking point feels like it's looming on the horizon. Currently, the Club World Cup is an annual affair that pits the winner of each confederation's Premier Club competition in addition to the host champions against one another. Liverpool lifted the trophy for the first time in 2019 following their European success, but the earliest chance to add to that tally will now be 2029 with these changes. So far, in addition to City and Chelsea, those already qualified from Europe are Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, Paris Saint-Germain, Inter Milan, FC Porto and Benfica. Obviously, this is a £50 million blow, and as we will not be taking part. It may have felt like there was a few positives to take from Liverpool's 0-0 draw against Manchester United, but Jurgen Klopp was adamant that he saw the best of his side in two different facets. The statistics weighed heavily in favour of the Reds at Anfield, but at the end of the day, the scoreboard is the final story and points were shared. It didn't look like it was going to pan out that way at the start, with Liverpool quick to press United and win one corner after another. Meanwhile, the visitors managed to just one touch in the opposition box in the first half. 
Klopp's men starved them of the ball and it was the instable counter-pressing that most pleased the manager. He proclaimed it is the best he's seen from Liverpool 2.0 so far. We should have won this game, but we didn't. That's a fact, Klopp told BBC's Match of the Day. I'm not sure you can create more finishes in a game against Manchester United, but if you have that number, a few more should be on target. There was a lot of things I really liked from a counter-pressing point of the view. That was the best game we played with this group, definitely. It was the intensity we wanted to have. The start in the game was probably the best we had so far. All that's good and we can take that. But there's a lesson to be learned from the Reds' dominance as it failed to be reflected whether it, where it matters most despite having an incredible 34 shots on goal. The win over Fulham hinted out an ability to convert from distance, but the team took it a step too far on the occasion with the lesson clear for Klopp after a result that hurts. You have to learn a lot from these things during the season and today hurts. That's good, but it gives us a lot of good information as well. There were moments where we looked like we were in a rush. Instead of doing the right things again and again, we played a few long balls too much. If these boys would every day play at 100% of their potential, that would be crazy. Wow, attitude today was top, top, top. More composure where it matters and it could have been all very different for Liverpool. All that can be done now is to learn the lessons and apply at West Ham on Wednesday night would be a good place to start. Mo Salah's mid-season absence for Liverpool is looming ever closer. The Reds' number 11 will start for Egypt in the African Cup of Nations, which will run between January and February of 2024. Despite taking place next year, the tournament is keeping its official AFCON 2023 title, having been delayed from last year. As the captain of Egypt, Salah is crucial for his country as he is for Liverpool. The 31-year-old forward has an impressive 55 goals and 95 caps and helped Egypt qualify for the first World Cup in 28 years back in 2018. However, Salah has so far failed to win silver at international level, finishing as a runner-up at the AFCON in 2017 and then in 2021. In the latter tournament, the two-time African Footballer of the Year lost to the final of penalties to Sadio Mane Senegal. Salah will have another shot at glory in the Ivory Coast at the start of 2024, However, come a cost to Liverpool, who will be without their star forward for several weeks. The Red Star has started the 23-24 campaign in sensational fashion, despite continued speculation over his long-term future, scoring 11 times and assisting 7 in the Premier League so far. Jurgen Klopp won't relish the prospect of a prolonged spell without his number 11, and then especially with his other forwards misfiring, but how many games and how which ones is Salah likely to miss for Liverpool? With AFCON 2023 running from 13th of January to 11th of February, Salah could miss up to five games for Liverpool as things stand. After taking on Newcastle on New Year's Day, Liverpool don't face another Premier League game until the 21st of January, a convenience for Salah's absence. However, the FA Cup third round tie away to Arsenal is scheduled for 7th of January. It's unclear whether Salah will be available for that game, which takes place exactly one week before Egypt's tournament opener against Mozambique. However, with the group stage concluding against Camp Verde on the 22nd of January, Salah would definitely miss at least one Premier League game for Liverpool, the trip to Bournemouth on the 21st of January. Liverpool's next league fixture after that is at home to Chelsea on the 31st of January. The only way Salah will be available to face his old club is if Egypt do not advance past the group stages, with the rounds of 16 games taking place between 27th of January and the 30th of January. The Reds then play Arsenal away on the 3rd of February, the latest possible date of the quarter-final stage, and Burnley at home on the 10th of February, the day to the AFCON final. In addition, Liverpool could also have an FA Cup fourth round tie to play on the 27th of January, depending on how we fare against the Gunners in the previous round. Liverpool fans, what are your thoughts on us missing out on the Club World Cup, and do you think we'll fare well without Mo Salah at the African Cup of Nations? Let me know down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Remember, we have released our Liverpool Christmas merch, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or going to copyclothing.com. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.